the Michigan man, Jake Moody, to get us started. And we are underway from Hard Rock Stadium. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. So here come the Dolphins now as they get set to take over on offense. They will be led out by the former Heisman Trophy winner back in 2016. Always a handful to contain, Lamar Jackson. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers among quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. And those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. Second down, Peterson again. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. But when you go from second to four to third and three, that just tells you who won that battle on the last play, huh? Yeah, first round went to the offense, second round the defense. Jackson looking to throw on third. That is caught, and they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. Give him 12 yards there, and the Dolphins have a first down. I don't care how many times we say it, I still get a kick out of watching quarterbacks and receivers do the pass trait in pregame warm-up. But I always remember that when we go to practices, we see that after practices as well. They really tune it up, don't they? They tune it up. They know why they do it for these situations. First down. And they build that trust, and that's why they're able to find him in this type of a situation. Jackson's throw taken in here by Jackson. And he's able to take it across midfield before going out of bounds. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And they'll be left with a second and about a foot. They give it to Peterson. And he'll be brought down at the 45-yard line. Four yards to pick up, first down. Second and inches is oftentimes an invitation for an offense coordinator to take a big shot downfield because he feels like he can come back on third down and pick up the first down. But sometimes you just don't want to break tendency. Stay with what you are, stay with who you know, and go get the first down. That's exactly what they do. He'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. You were telling me this yesterday. That's exactly what they want to do on the opening drive, establish the ground game. Yeah, remember our conversation? We were talking about what one of the GMs in the league has told me repeatedly. It's a big man's game, and it's not necessarily size. He's talking about playing some big boy football. Line up, get leverage, knock people back, and establish the run early. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. This one complete to his fullback out of backfield. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. 11 more yards that go around, a first down as well. Jackson. And he's going to drop this off to his fullback. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll bring up second down. Well, this has certainly been a nice drive with the way they've spread the football around. Here, they even get the fullback involved in the passing game. That's got to cause a lot of consternation on the defensive side. You've got to cover him, too. That makes things really difficult. And he is here. Touchdown, Miami. Adrian Peterson taking it in from 40 yards out. And the Dolphins are on the board first here this afternoon. Caps off what was really a balanced opening drive for them, Charles. They work in the rushing game and the aerial attack, and they end it with a touchdown. Strong in so many ways, wasn't it, partner? Their ability to throw it and run it and accomplish their goal. They've got to like the way that they started this ball game. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. And that is going to be caught. And it moves the lead to eight nothing. Interesting. I mean, they're putting their foot on the gas here early, going for two to go up 8 nothing. Well, after that drive, you have to believe that they thought to themselves, if we can do that, what's another two yards? Let's go get those and get two points as a result. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And some good special teams coverage as they bring him down just outside of the 15. So here are the Chiefs now as they get set for their opening drive. 
They'll be led out by a first-round pick back in 2021 from Ohio State. It's Justin Fields. Coming out of Ohio State, one of the top prospects in the NFL draft, and it was so big that they moved up in the draft to get him, to make sure that they had him. And, boys, he got the full package. Loves the game. Big-time arm. 4-4 speed. So good that another quarterback prospect said to him, what's it feel like to run 4-4? Everybody wants to be that fast. On first down, it's Fields. Connects with Kittle underneath. It'll go down as a gain of six, and it's second down. One quarter down, eight nothing to score. The Chiefs with the football as we start the second quarter as they've got it with a second and four coming up. Now it's Fields. The Dolphins get there this time, and they bring him down. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. Oh, my goodness, was that a defensive back that got to him with the pressure? <laughs> Beef up the secondary here as they look to stop them on third down. Fields now to throw. And the pressure gets to him again. The Nick Bosa so quick on the outside, he gets in there to bring him down. I thought there at the end he may have had a chance to release that, but that pocket closed a little too quickly, and down he went. Yeah, he was certainly trying to do everything he could to extend the life of the play, probably counting in his head. One, two, and then he ran out of time. Powering forward. And that'll be a return of 12 following a very nice punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. Adrian Peterson now getting ready to go again on offense. Handful of carries last time out there. Finished it off, Charles, with a short touchdown run. Yeah, and that's pretty nice for him to be able to do that because normally where they were on the field, it's going to take some muscle to get in there. It's going to take some power because things are so stacked up. Well blocked. He was able to get into the end zone somewhat safely. Yeah, that's the thing. Several of those carries last drive, he had some good holes, some good options. Second and ten. Here's Jackson again. That ball caught. It's Mark Andrews, the tight end. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Andrews' first catch, good for a first down. Here's Jackson. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's out of bounds. Almost gets to the 10. Another nice gain. 13 yards that time and another first down. Now it's AP, Adrian Peterson. And he couldn't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. 49 yards rushing for him now on just six carries to this point. His first carry of their second drive, pretty solid. And, of course, remember back to their first drive, really strong throughout that one. Not only is he getting good blocking up front, but how about his vision to find the holes? And he's seeing things before they even open. And Peterson finding his way in. Touchdown, Miami. Second touchdown here in this first half. And the Dolphins go up by two touchdowns. So he had the nice run to get him down there. Was stopped just short of the goal line, but they go right back to him, CD, and he delivers to finish the drive off. A little extra determination there, don't you think, partner? You notice he didn't tap on his helmet and say, get me out after the run down to the end zone. He said, I almost got in. I'm going to get in on my own. I'm staying in. And he carries it across the goal line. Jackson here is going to look to throw. And no, it falls incomplete. So the two-point conversion, no good. Well, split the difference, and they're right where they would have been with two PATs. They got the two-point conversion the first time. They failed there. 
interesting, isn't it? Because the first time you go after your first score, that feels like a gamble. The second time when they tried it again, that felt like, what the heck, right? Because, as you said, even if you miss it, you split the difference, and you're right on schedule at 14 points. Kansas City taking the field for their second drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive, and they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, reach the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. Off play action, Fields. That's caught by his big tight end, Mike Kosicki. And they work this well upfield across the 45. First down now, but the clock continues to move. Here's Fields. Complete to the tight end, Kennel, over the middle of the field. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another good gain. That's now 35 yards combined on those last two plays. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. On play action, Fields. Stiff armed him. Yeah, he was able to shed one tackle but could not get away from there. He'll get five out of the scramble and hit second down. They made a nice effort to stick him with a loss for that play, but it's going to take more than that to keep him from advancing the ball. Should be an entertaining battle anytime he tucks and runs over the second half of this contest. Here's a second and five. Here's Fields. And a quick throw here. That's complete. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. On first down, Fields. Looking left side, and it's complete. Whistles come in and a timeout. We'll see if they try to run one more quick hitter or will they go ahead and kick the field goal here. Out of the gun, Fields. That one thrown away from the pocket. The officials kind of looking at each other, but they'll say there was a receiver in the area, so no penalty, just an incomplete pass. So with four seconds to go in the half, here's the field goal unit onto the field. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is indeed good. So a long drive gets him down inside the five, but ultimately they settle for just the field goal. And I have to think that if maybe they were a yard closer, that would have made their decision tougher, and I think they likely would have gone for it. But in this situation, they just decided to take the three, and I think it was a smart move. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. We now proceed to the start of the second half. And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. Ready for the second half. 14 to 3 our score as we are back underway on EA Sports. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. Here comes the Chiefs offensive unit as they'll have it to begin quarter number three. And they're still very much in this game, although they do trail. What's the game plan, Charles, for the second half? It might be a little counterintuitive because most people will think losing equals passing the ball more. And the ball is knocked out. Oh, and one of the linemen on the other side has got it. And they will take over at the 29-yard line. So it's kind of more of the same offensively. This was a team needing to come out of this third quarter with a little fire. Instead, they put the ball on the ground. And you know that has to be the discussion at halftime because they're down two scores. We've got to come out with a little bit more urgency than we had in the first half. Now that urgency falls on their defense because they can't fall down three scores and hope to come back and win this game. Here's Peterson. And he's brought down at the 24 after a gain of four. Nice chunky yards on first down. It really opens up your options for what you want to do on second. You go right back to him and hope he explodes or sucker the defense in before throwing over the top. Second down, Peterson again. And he'll take this close to a first down at the Chiefs' 19-yard line. 
It's a five-yard gain, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now Lumen. So they just need one yard here to pick up the first down. On third and one, Jackson. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have the Dolphins first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. And as a quarterback, you're always pleased when you can use all the weapons at your disposal. Here he spots his fullback underneath, gets the completion right there for a nice pickup. Now a first and 10 at the 11. A 10th carry now for Peterson. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Adrian Peterson taking it in for 11 yards out. And the Dolphins take advantage of the short field and finish it off with a quick touchdown. Partner, they had a good lead as they went in at the half, and they came out here in the second half and found a way to extend it. I love their consistency. Don't worry about what they said at halftime. This seemed like a team that was ready to play 60 minutes. And while this game is far from over, I love their approach. They'll look to throw. And this one incomplete. So they went for the two. They don't get it. Well, partner, since this new two-point rule came into play, offense has spent a lot more time working on it. That means the defenses are doing the exact same thing. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And no alley to be found. The coverage was solid, and he's dropped at the 18. Now, now the Chiefs' offensive unit ready to do battle again. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Call it a gain of a yard, and it'll be second down. Caught that look from you there, partner. I think we're on the same page on that one. Just his first catch. I think we both thought he'd be a little more active in the passing game. Let's see if that's the start of them trying to get the ball to him a little bit more here in the second half. Fields. And that one off the mark behind him, incomplete. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit, but a lot of people making plays behind him in the field. And he's taken down, but not before he gets this across the 25-yard line. Fields, we know he has the good mobility. He flashes it there as he scrambles for the first down. They're going to look to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Sanders. So no gain on the play, and it's second down. Well, that was a simple throw and catch, but even with that completion, zero yards gained, so they're behind schedule on down and distance. I think they were hoping to get it to him. He could make a man or two miss, but that window closed quickly. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Fair to say, hasn't been his best game throwing the football, but also not getting a lot of help out there either. Yeah, you kind of you nailed it pretty well, you know? <laughs> He's got to throw it better, got to get more help. Obviously one that should have been caught, they got to find a way to bring those, those two elements together so they can make some progress in this one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Looks like another empty possession offensively. And you're at that point in the game where you can't afford too many more of these. So this is going to require some heavy thinking on the sideline to figure out what they can do to crack this defense. Fielded just inside the 30. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A nice punt, but a good run back as well, 13 yards. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. Here's Peterson as they begin on the ground. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. We have played three quarters. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. It's Dolphin football. It's also Dolphin lead to begin quarter number four. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. 
In motion, the tight end. They go play action with Jackson. He's going to loft one deep left side here. Got a man, it's caught inside the 10. It's a big play there for Miami. 56 yards. And even with the game seemingly in hand, they're continuing to fire away, pressing the ball down the field. Listen, it's worked all day. No reason to go away from it now. This offense continues to be a hot knife through butter. Three drives, three scores, and knocking on the door again on drive number four. Peterson is into the end zone. Touchdown, Miami. Well, this offensive line has really stepped up to the challenge here because those Mastodons, they've been sensational clearing holes all game long. And this is great work down here near the goal line to give their back the space he needs to work his way into the end zone. Once again, the Dolphins will come out and go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. So the defense gets the stop. I know it's situation to situation, but who has more pressure there, offense or defense, when they go for two? I, st I truly believe it's the defense has more pressure because the offense has an entire playbook wide open from the two-yard line. You can run it. You can throw it. So defensively, I think most teams are going to be aggressive and force the issue and try and bring pressure. KC's offense ready to take over. Over on the sideline, hoping to hit that reset button between possessions. Last time out, they had to punt it away. This time, hoping to finish this thing off in the end zone. On first and ten, here's Fields. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he will bring it back. It's a big six on a defense touchdown. Well, this one was already ugly, and now it's just kind of becoming a feast on the defensive side of the football. Yeah, partner, this is a unit that knows they've got this game in the bag with this huge lead. And it's going to drive their coaches crazy because they're telling them to play it straight, do all the right things. But these guys are going to be freewheeling now. All of them are going to take chances. And that one pays off with an INT and a return for six. The defense more than did its job. Now the offense is summoned onto the field as they'll go for two. After the interception, here's Jackson. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. <laughs> I think this is just going to be a function of the times we live in now. Very similar to the backflip in baseball. Everybody's got to start to get comfortable with this. But to me, this is just rubbing it in. You got a big lead. Go ahead and take the extra point. One thing to keep in mind, though, karma's still out there. And sometimes it has a way of catching up with you. Taking it about the one. Oh, a good-looking return set up here. And a good return, able to get out across the 35 to the 36. The Chiefs offense now making their way back onto the field. Now remember, they were just out here a moment ago through the pick six, so we'll see if they can take better care of the football this go-around. Yeah, and sometimes, partner, I think it's almost better that you just throw the pick six and you come right back out on the field. You're not over on the sidelines dwelling for it for very long. You're not hearing everyone say, hey, you'll get them next time. Hey, don't worry about it. All that stuff just goes right out the window. You're right back out on the field with a chance to atone. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So the Chiefs in possession of the ball as we welcome you back. They've got a first and ten as they search for a late score. Now a first down throw, Fields. And he's got his tight end, it's Mike Gesicki. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. It's another first down, as this time they get an even 20. Offense for them has been at a premium. You wonder where plays like that have been all game long. They're thinking the exact same thing themselves, but they're also looking forward now, because now these plays are really for next week, trying to get some momentum going. Now an open man, that's the tight end Gesicki, it's complete. And somewhat of a measure of revenge as he's in for the touchdown, but they still trail big time. He'll take it, but he won't be able to smile about it. For a big tight end, he can sure move like a slot receiver when he gets a head of steam going. And as a defensive back, you've got a big decision to make when he's moving like that.
Jake Moody now for the point after. And the lead is down to 24. The drive there only spanning three plays. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And the Dolphins are going to recover. Now, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Here's second and three. Again, Peterson. And this time not quite to the 30. He'll be down at the 31-yard line. 85 yards rushing now for Peterson and a first down. Oh, Jackson's going to throw it. And this is going to be caught, but they'll say out of bounds. So it's incomplete. Line of scrimmage, the 31 as they line up second and 10. Now a run with Peterson. Jackson. And this is going to be caught. So add two more to the lead as they continue to pour it on here in the fourth. So they go with the pass, and it works there on the two-point try. Charles, just in general, what are your thoughts passing versus running on two-point conversion? Situational? It is situational, and you have to know your team. What is your strength? Because so many people think you have to throw the ball on a two-point conversion, but the stats will tell you that running it is about as proficient. So know your team and go to your strength. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. Now this Chiefs offense gets set to go again. They are just obviously getting shellacked here in this one, Charles. What's, what's the message if you're a coach for this final drive in a lopsided game like this? For a lot of coaches, be honest. Don't forget today. <laughs> don't forget what has happened out here. Yeah, use that as ammo. Exactly. Take a great look at that scoreboard. Realize how poorly everything went for us today. Coaching, playing, the whole deal. And never forget it because you're not going to want that feeling. No, again. you don't want that feeling again. And who knows? You may meet up with this team again. Now Fields. Got a man. It's Randy Moss complete. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Chiefs first down. Fields now to throw. This one caught by Kittle. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. And as this defense walks off the field, they can do so with their heads held high. What a performance by the offense, too. I mean, really, Charles, just complete domination on both sides of the football here in this one. It certainly was, and I think both sides compete against each other all the time. You go to each other in practice, obviously your training camps, your offseason. But on game day, you both want to show your best. And I think that's what we saw from both the offense and the defense, a complete team victory. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gunn. This has been Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Join the discussion on Twitter at EA Sports underscore M-U-T. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.